Welcome to another Tutu tutorial. Today, we'll show you how to integrate ads into your apps and games as part of the Super SDK integration process. You may recall that many in-app advertisements available to Western users are blocked in China. To solve this monetization issue, it is necessary to use local advertising tools. All of our partners have access to our Super SDK package, which allows the integration of video, interstitial, and banner ads. Data mining and local social networking features are also included, while a recommended ad strategy, a demo project, and a demo APK can also be found inside the reference folder of the Super SDK. To begin, head over to the download section of the Partner Resources portal, select Freemium with Ads, and download the appropriate Super SDK package depending on whether you're using Unity or Android. For this demonstration, we'll be using Android. Once you extract the file, you'll find four folders, document, key store, reference, and SDK. Inside the SDK folder, look for the libs folder, and inside that, look for the super SDK video java.jar file and the csj.aar file, and paste both of these into the libs folder of your own Android project. And please create a libs folder in your project if you don't have an existing one. In the build gradle section of your Android project, add in these repository and dependency codes. And inside the res folder, copy all of the folders and paste it into the res folder of your Android project. If the names overlap with any existing folders in your project, you need to combine both content rather than replace the existing ones. Next, open up the Android manifest.xml file where we'll edit and add in various codes to integrate the ads. First, in order to grant the necessary permissions, copy this series of codes and paste them into your own Android Manifest file. Second, under the application section, add an Android colon name equals in brackets com.app2d.add.add application. Third, add in another series of codes into your XML file from CSJ start all the way to Mintegro end. Replace these with your package name if you're using Eclipse for development. So now we need to initialize the Super SDK. Some things to note is that these methods should only be called once, after the game has started, but before the add method is called. Video adds callback is the callback method for when the player has finished watching the video. The reward method needs to be placed here so that players will receive their reward after they have finished watching that video. Video adds load success is the callback method for when the video ads have loaded. The video ads button should only be enabled after this callback is received. If the target SDK used in your project is greater than 23, permission needs to be granted at code level before you can initialize the SDK. You can do this by adding these permissions. To trigger video ads, type in addManager.getInstanceBrackets.VideoAds and in brackets MainActivity.This. And to trigger interstitial and banner ads, replace the video ads section with interstitial ads or banner ads. And to configure the lift cycle method of these ads, add in the onResume and onPause codes. Now that you have integrated our SDK into your app, you can generate a new APK and use the 2t.keystore file provided in the keystore folder of the Super SDK. The password for this is app2d at app2d.com. Select app2t as the alias and type in the password again. And please note that the target API level cannot be lower than 26. When you test the new APK, a test mode message will be shown when the initialization interface is called. Likewise, video, interstitial, and banner ads will be shown when the respective interfaces are called. And finally, Another test mode message will pop up when the video adds callback method is received. So once you have successfully tested out the new APK, you can submit it to us through the portal. Please also prepare a simple text file indicating the ads trigger points in your app in order to help us verify whether the ads have been called correctly. Please contact us regarding any technical difficulties, and we look forward to receiving your projects.